The symbol for the big IC, as you can see, for the processor, for example, or the RAM, its circuit diagram will be like this, as you can see. Okay, when we find a rectangle like this with many squares and rectangle, means this is a chip. Okay, this is a chip, and here all these are control. For example, you can find here, for example. Here the clock, for example, okay? Here you can find the ground, okay? So this, all this part in the chip is connected to the ground and here is for the clock. Here, for example, you can find USB. Here you can find the power management, for example, okay? And here, for example, you can, you can find the control signals okay so this is the symbol or the circuit diagram of the chip in the motherboard schematic okay and for the ic like this for example you can find it like this a square with mini pins here okay in the far side or in both sides so this is the ic this is the symbol for the ice, okay? Here, as you can see, we have this is crystal oscillator, okay? This is crystal oscillator. It symbols is, as you can see, is like this in the schematic. So this is the symbol for the crystal oscillator with X or Y, okay? You will find always the crystal oscillator with this two liter X or Y. As you can see in this motherboard, for example, for the laptop, we have here the crystal, as you can see, with this value, as you can see, the frequency. Here we have X5, as you can see, okay? And for this, for example, this is another crystal, just this is an example. This is another crystal, here we have Y3, okay? So always the crystal oscillator, okay, crystal, crystal oscillator crystal or quartz okay its reference is x or y okay so let's see what we have here also so we have ICs we have this this is ceramic capacitors all these are ceramic capacitors as you can see so the symbol for ceramic capacitors is simple is like this so this is the symbol for the ceramic Capacitor, as you can see, with C or even piece. Okay, this is the symbol for ceramic capacitor. And for chemical capacitor, this is its symbol. For chemical capacitor or for, for polarized capacitor, this is its symbol, as you can see. Okay, with plus here. This is a polarized capacitor. This is a PC or C. Okay, so for the resistance, you can find its symbol like this for the resistance R or PR okay or even this symbol as you can see with R or PR okay so for the diode okay for the diode this is the symbol for the diode as you can see this is D or you can find also PD okay or you can find this symbol also, but this symbol is for the Zener, is for the Zener diodes, okay? And you can find also another symbol for the diode with two around here. This is LED, this is an LED diode, exactly like this one. This is an LED diode, okay? Sometimes you can find a symbol, as you can see, like this, mini resistor or a combination of resistor, as you can see. So this is a network resistor. You can find NR or R or even PR. This is a network resistor. So I will show you an example of this resistor. We can find this kind of resistor in the tablet motherboard. Okay, but we I don't have here this resistor in this motherboard, but I will show you this resistor from another motherboard for the laptop. Okay.
as you can see here for example this are registers you see this is a network register as you can see okay here also as you can see here this is network register all this a network register here we have a normal register and here this is a network register okay here this is ceramic capacitors because the tablet motherboard has the same working principle as the laptop motherboard the difference is in the size okay and in the design as you see for for the laptop motherboard the processor is integrated with the motherboard and also the ram is integrated with the motherboard but in the laptop motherboard as you can see or computer motherboard this is the processor it's not integrated you can remove it and the ram also is not integrated and of course we have the gmch and the ICH etc okay but for the tablet motherboard all big chips okay like the processor the not bridge the graphic card etc are integrated here of course sometimes you can find an IC that is responsible for the graphic card and sometimes you can find that the graphic card controller is integrated with the processor so as you can see here, this is the symbol for the network resistor. So you can find, of course, some diodes that is co composed of two diodes. Okay, in this shape, as you can see. Okay, this. You can find this kind of diodes. Okay, so for this symbol, as you can see, this symbol is for inductor L. Okay, for inductor or for coil. So inductor, okay, or coil. So this is the symbol for inductor or coil. L is for lens. L, okay. L stands for lens, okay. The, the noun of the scientist. I want to add that in every motherboard you will find ICs around it main component this is a very important tip when you find an IC like this as you can see an IC or a power management okay so this IC of course has many inputs for example like V in for example the working power let's assume that the V in is 5 volt for example it will receive of course some enable signals okay some enable signals and will be connected of course to the ground etc so near to this ic you will find many capacitors okay many ceramic capacitors as you can see okay so all these capacitors are connected to the ground in one side but in the other side should not be connected to the ground so in this side the ceramic capacitor are connected to the ground but in the other side are connected to the IC so to check the serviceability of this IC you can just check this ceramic capacitors the ceramic capacitor should not be shorted to the ground in the both sides okay if you find any ceramic capacitor okay around any ic that is shorted to the ground in the boat size means this ic is shorted is bad okay you can even check the serviceability of ics using your finger if you feel that the ic is hot means it is bad you should replace it with another ic with the same reference Okay, of course, as I told to you before, every IC has a reference above it in its body.